Hi, I'm John with Sermons for Kids. And I'm going to show you how to quickly get set up in the new scheduler that's part of Sermons for Kids Pro. First thing we want to do is click on the menu in the top right. You should be logged in and see your name up here. Go ahead and click on that and then scroll down until you see scheduler. Click that and you will be taken to this page. The first time that you go into the scheduler, it will be pre-populated with three classes that correspond with the lesson plans that are sent each week, preschool, lower elementary, and upper elementary. However, uh, you can customize those to change to match what your church teaches. To do that, click Edit Classes, which will take you to the Classes setting where you can change the name and the color associated with classes. You can even add additional classes. We could call one pre-K, for example, give it a different color, create class, and it will now show up on the scheduler. I will now uh, navigate back to the scheduler, either through the side menu or through the drop-down menu. Either one will take me to there. Now that I have my classes set up, I'm going to click Add Schedule. I then will select which class this is for, when it is being taught, we'll say Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And it's going until 9.30 a.m. Then I will select who is teaching this class. When you assign a teacher to a class, they will receive a email uh, immediately letting them know that they are on the schedule and a link to the resources for that week. The last step is to select what they're teaching. So by default, you will see the sermon of the week for the week that it is scheduled, uh, which you can select if you would like. You also can search for other topics and find one that matches what you're hoping to teach that week. When you select it, you're also able to uh, select which resources you want the teacher to have access to. For example, um, so you can deselect certain ones that you do not want part of that lesson and then add it to the schedule. You'll see that it is now visible on the schedule and uh, Sarah Brown will receive an email letting her know that she is scheduled to teach on the 22nd. 